I can't tell if it's cleaner or not than, than my point and shoot. It should be. It certainly is a lot heavier. Taking a picture of. I'm taking a time lapse of uh, of the of that right now. Huh? Oh no, it won't rain. It doesn't rain this time of year. All right, well that big roll is fucked up. But I think I got enough. That guy was tight though. Tonight is Zachary's birthday, so I think I'm gonna go lifting with him. We may see a movie, we may not. I'm not sure, but I've done basically all the work I needed to do at my desk today. Well, I have to go get a bag before he gets here, so that we can go and lift. But we'll figure it out. Hi. I need something to to carry this in. The Photosport by Lowepro is good for, they, they have a model for Sony's as well as Canon's, and so I was wondering what you would suggest. Okay. So, yeah, so. Um, it seems like there's enough space. Memory card, edgy. Let's see if this will fit in there. I decided to cop this bag, it has, it has good space. I'll do a I'll do a bag video at some point, maybe if, if you guys are interested. But the women in there had no idea what they were talking about. They were really really nice to me, but like they were very nice, but they had no idea what they were talking about in terms of this bag. I knew more about this bag than they did, and I know almost nothing about this bag. So yeah. One of my favorite things to do is to just walk around stores. I know it's weird, but I have some time to kill right now, and I love REI because I get to check out the new knife selection. Oof. There it is, Benchmade 531. I strongly suggest you guys cop this knife. Such a nice knife. Ooh, they have a black version too. Ah, serrated, not worth. I like serrations, but not in this knife. The main reason why I like this knife is because of how fucking lit. That cutting edges. I think it's 154 CM, I'm not sure though. Then you got your griptilians up here. Griptilians, eh, too fat. Ooh, there it is, boy. Can't see it because of the reflection. 940 right there. Ooh. Now, Benchmade came out with these uh, these slip joints this year, and they have G10 and Micarta. So I don't know if you can see that, but that is, the red one is G10, and this one is Micarta, the black one. I don't know. They're really cool slip joints though because they're called proper slip joints. I just like that name. No, nothing new on the REI uh, rotation. All right, I need to go to Best Buy. I need to get a mount for my phone. Fuck it. We out here. What are you doing? I'm vlogging. You want to be in the vlog? Yeah, I'm vlogging at Best Buy. Shout out to Best Buy. They have good security stuff. Um, yeah. I was wondering if you could actually help me. I need to find a mount for my iPhone. Like a mount to put on my dashboard. Basically, I need to connect into a tripod like this. I would check back there by tripods. Do you watch vlogs on YouTube at all? Nope. No? You should, they're, they're cool. Are you somebody? I'm not someone, no. I wish I was. If I was, you'd know me, right? Do you watch YouTube a lot, though? Really? I've like never met someone that doesn't watch YouTube. Take off 45 for FPS Russia. You like FPS Russia? Are you a gun guy? Here in California, how can you be a gun guy in California? Take care, Tom. Hell, it's sad I was vlogging in Best Buy. I'm in Best Buy vlogging, trying to find a fucking mount for my iPhone, and I've gone to like two different stores. Oh. Yeah, I know, right, dude? Like, what the fuck? No, dude, I'm here to blow this place up and shoot up the store, my dude. Tell it funny, people get like, pissed. 30 fucking dollars? You got me fucked up. Listen to this, these guys are pretty Well. These guys are pretty fucking Happy birthday, Zach. You're welcome. Is it a no? It's a no. I was supposed to stay up. And then I went to bed really late because I stayed up. And then I, I have to take her to work now. This is gonna be great. Sorry, does there seem to be a problem here? Here, we out here. You're an angel when you're tired. 
You never have been mad at me when you're tired. That's not true. Can you explain to me what happened? Because I didn't really get a good clear view of what just happened in the neighbor's yard. I just saw a male <laughs> with a tie-dye muscle shirt on yelling at a dog. Well, it's about par for the course at your fucking neighbor's house. <laughs> perspective on how our government's run has changed. Tell the truth, taxation is theft. That was sarcasm. Grind through this line right now. Dropped young T off at work. I have hella shit to do today. My dad got home yesterday. I gotta help him out with what he needs, I guess, help with. Figure it out from there. I'm taking an intermittent break from the stuff I have to do to help my dad edit some of the video from his trip. But I also took this time to, hold on, to jack his GoPro. And I'm gonna try to get some flipping footage. I don't know if it'll work. I've never really tried using a GoPro before. You should be able to see the GoPro footage right now. So you can't blame me for my shitty flipping right now. I just woke up. I sleep during the day, if you didn't know. I study very late into the night. That's at least what I'm doing right now. I have to go get Tyler from work because his car's broken down. I need to eat because I've been eating all day. And we are going to do a review of a very special knife to my heart. Now, I know I haven't been really focusing on battle songs lately, but I have one coming in the mail that I'm very excited for, and I wanna hold off on my reviews until that knife comes in because I wanna make that review golden. Where are my glasses? I wonder if I can do a review in here. Is the audio good? Four point four two. Not too shabby. Yeah. Yeah. It's that good. Yeah. Ooh. ELB Persian. Ooh, it's so nice. Oh. Oh. Every time I flip this knife open, either a kitten is born or someone else in the world has an orgasm. Something good happens to the world every time I open this knife. The action is the cleanest action I've ever felt on a knife, ever. ELB takes supreme pride in making the smoothest knives imaginable. That's why his battle songs have such a good reputation. He uses IKBS bearings, which I, I forgot what it stands for. It's like internal something bearing system, or it might be Korean, I don't know. It's a really good bearing system though. It's like the top bearing system out there. Like Kershaw uses a KBS on a few of their knives. Like if your knives have bearings in them, they better have IKBS. Hydration. What separates a $800 knife from a $200 knife? Well, the quality, craftsmanship, heart that goes into the metal. I know that sounds really dumb, and I thought it was dumb until I started fucking with knives of that caliber. Here's a perfect example. We have a Gavco. Great knife. Ooh, feels nice. But this thing, I'm trying to get it to go down. Okay, so see how like, there, now it closed. It's not focused, fuck. Hold on. Ballpark on this knife is probably, I, I don't know, like 400 to $600, that's the range it's in. Sorry, I didn't open all the way because it's like not as good. There you go. So I had to put a lot of effort to get it to flip exactly like that. Now the detent catches on this thing right here and I have to kinda, and the detent is very loose on this knife, but I have to like kinda shake it to get it to go down. This does not have AK, IKBS. This, has IKBS. This is the ELB Persian Flipper, by the way. There's your IKBS, and watch this knife. 
No effort whatsoever, okay? I haven't opened this knife ever. I haven't tuned this knife. I haven't done anything to this knife. I bought this knife, it came in the mail. I haven't touched it. I've just used it. Ugh. And it works perfectly. Like it's ridiculously smooth. This, I think this has steel bearings in it also. I could buy ceramic bearings and make it even smoother, but I, I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, I was gonna buy a bunch of ceramic bearings to put in my ELB Balasong as well, but there already were bearing, or ceramic bearings in it, so I have to do it to this knife eventually. But yeah, this knife is so nice that it borders on like, wow, I don't know if I'm even gonna use it to cut because it's so nice. But when I bought the knife, I knew it was gonna cost a lot of money, I knew they were rare, and I knew they were worth the money. So I EDC that knife when I can. When I can, meaning that I'm not gonna use it to garden, and pull weeds out, but I'm gonna use it to open boxes and I'm gonna use it as an actual knife. I'm not gonna baby it. The Gavco is a really good knife. It's very beefy, it's very strong. The LB is just art. Like it's, he's from France, he's, it's, it's art. If you go on his Instagram, you can kind of see some of the stuff he puts up. He's not very active on Instagram and that's because he's too busy making the most belligerent knives in the world. His wait list, I've heard rumors that they're five years out. Realistically, they're probably three years out, but that's if you can get on a list. The way it works is if you want to cop one of his balasongs, you literally have to buy a spot. After you buy the spot off the guy that's selling the spot, you have to wait another three years to get a knife from him. That's how long his wait list is it's insane with these knives it's more of a there's like not as much as of a demand I feel like for his flippers but his flippers still are really rare and really hard to come by if that makes sense so like because his bell songs are so belligerent they're in incredibly hard to get but you can still cop one of his flippers you know if you're lucky I was looking for a long time to cop this Persian that's the one I wanted there's also a rhino which is a different variant and then I think he has one other knife, but I'm not sure what it is. Okay, so this is Greed 5 Titanium, which I believe is basically the gold standard for titanium in the business. It has a satin finish to it, that's what I'm going to call it. Anodized pocket clip, non-invertible, non-deep carry, but at that point it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's a frame lock, as you can see right here. It has anodized hardware, anodized pivot with the, uh, the bearing system in it. And then you have your flipping lever right here. One of my favorite things about ELB knives is the type of steel he uses. I don't know exactly what it is. Can this focus? Please focus. I don't know what it is, but I, I just love it. That's his watermark, and it's a very good knife. Solid action, solid everything. I, I say this with like basically every knife I review, and it makes sense because I wouldn't buy knives that I didn't like, but I'll give them honest reviews. And the price point that people sell this knife at is pretty insane. I got it cheap because the guy needed to sell it and I just happened to see his post when he posted it. So I got it within 15 minutes of him, you know, putting the post up. You know, these knives can go anywhere from $600 up to $1,300. And it's mainly because of supply and demand and how much people are willing to pay for a knife like this. The Balasong's completely different market. Completely different market. I'll get more into the specifics of that uh, in my review of that knife. But I bought this knife because I wanted a solid flipper and I'll keep this the rest of my life. I'm never gonna sell this knife. Like I said, the steel is like fucking amazing. There, you can kinda see that there's like these kind of strains, strains, streaks I guess through the, through the steel and it's extremely smooth. And I just don't know, it's like butter. I just, I love the blade steel on this knife. And again, it's just like gravity closes this knife. Yeah, that's like the smoothest action I've ever seen in my life. I don't even know. You got an anodized spacer, and that's pretty much it. It's a lit-ass knife. Sorry for like the hurried feel of this like review right now, but I have to go pick up Tyler. I'm, I might be late. I have to start vlogging for tomorrow, and then I have to go do a bunch of studying, so I'm kind of like freaking out. I slept most of the day, so I'm gonna start vlogging a lot more at night. I realized looking back on my videos, I'm vlogging mainly during the day, and it's weird because I'm almost up almost only at night, so that's what that's gonna be, but I hope you enjoyed my review of ELB. Please let me know in the comments how I can improve my vlogs or whatever, and go ahead and roast me. Also, there's been a lot of buzz and a lot of drama in the Balasong community, so I think instead of doing a knife review tomorrow, I'm gonna just rant about that. We'll see, though.